Hi, we're Stephanie and Megan from doityourselfdivas.blogspot.com. Here's how to hem jeans fast and easy. You need jeans that have been washed, pins, scissors, iron, fray check, and a sewing machine. First, put your jeans on and roll them up to where you want them to be. Keep in mind, the hem on the jean will hang down over this point, so it will end up being just a little bit longer. Mark this point by pinning on the fold. Take your jeans off. Notice where the pin is and repin the jeans so that the original hem is just above the mark. Pin into place. Now, pin all the way around. Make sure the side seams line up perfectly. Start at the side seam and straight stitch, then back stitch, and then continue around the jean right next to the original hem. Use thread that matches your jean, such as navy blue. At this point, there are a few different ways you can finish this look. Cut off the extra material close to the stitch you just sewed. The easiest and our favorite way is option one, applying fray check. To prevent the jeans from fraying, we apply this. Let dry and you're all done. To make the other pant leg, line it up, fold jeans in half, placing one leg on top of the other and match the fold. Pin into place. Option two is to straight stitch around the original hem. and then zigzag stitch next to the straight stitch. Cut off the extra fabric. The zigzag stitch will prevent fraying once the fray meets the stitch. Unfold the pants and iron flat. Option three is top stitch. Once you do the zigzag stitch and cut off the extra fabric, unfold the pants, iron down, and top stitch. This makes the pant hem stay in place after washing rather than flipping up. Here you can see the top stitch. Option four, tack the sides up. Find the side seams. Sew back and forth on the side seam. This keeps the hem in place after washing. And you're done. Here is the top stitch pant, and here is the pant with the sides tacked up. And the last option, surge your extra fabric away.